Hi, welcome back to GOB. I'm Rob and I'm here with uh, Chris from Comics, Beer and Sci-Fi. We're talking about this week's top picks for comics. First up this week we have Action Comics number 967. Superman and Lex Luthor are joining forces uh, tentatively to fight, from what I know, a new DC villain, the God Slayer. It's a mystery. What's yeah. going on with this God Slayer guy? You, you look him up, you think Marvel, but it's not. It looks like he might actually have to try to save Lex Luthor. Ouch. Yeah, they have to uh, cooperate. Lex Luthor's there in his power suit. He wants to be the new Man of Steel. I'm, I'm interested to see how it plays out, but mostly I'm interested to find out who this God Slayer guy is. Yeah. So check it out. Next up from Marvel, I've got The Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vows. It's a new mini-series about Spider-Man and the Spider family, as it were, Mary Jane and his daughter Annie. I think that it has a potential to be really zany and yeah. kooky. Probably a lot of dynamic and a lot of fun artwork. Very PG. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. And next up by Marvel, we have the new Invincible Iron Man series with Ironheart, Riri Williams. I am pretty excited for this one. Riri is a super genius from Chicago. It's good to be from Chicago, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you've got Riri Williams, you've got the Cubs. Can we get a superhero from Detroit, Michigan? That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a theme with go going on with Marvel, if you notice. They're becoming very progressive, very yes. forward-thinking. They're really True. working hard to become more diverse and more inclusive. A plethora of characters from all different backgrounds really adds a nice dynamicism to the series. Next up from Marvel, we have Black Panther, World of Wakanda. Here we have the start of two young women training to be members of the Midnight Angels, the elite group of defenders of the Wakandan royal family. Again, it ties into the theme of uh, Marvel being very progressive in their thinking. We've got Roxanne Gay, mm -hmm. an accomplished professor. I'm interested to see what it's like to have her hand at comics. As far as I know, she's been a writer before, but she hasn't done comics. You know, it's a different medium, and I'm really excited. Neil Gaiman's The Sandman Overture, the second Sandman series mm -hmm. that Neil Gaiman has made, is finally out in trade paperback. I have loved this story. I have loved J.H. Williams III art in this and in the previous Sandman. Were you ever a reader of the Sandman comics? I was not a reader of the Sandman comics, but one does not become a comic book collector and right. advocate without at least having a respect for it. Do you have to have known about the Sandman lore? Do you have to have read it to understand this? Nope, story? this story is fully independent. It does deal with the character of Dream, but you can read this without having read any other of the Sandman mythos and you'll be just fine. So, Chris, Yomacon happened recently. I figured we'd talk uh, a bit about anime, both in the store and just the culture at large. I've got here a couple of favorites, Trigon, One Punch Man, which is a great series, Saitama killing people in one punch. Lone Wolf and Cub, which is a little more of a serious series that I've enjoyed a lot. And of course, you're holding on to uh, Goku. Yeah, he's kind of like the Superman yeah. of the anime. You know, when you think of comic books, mm -hmm. you automatically think of Superman. Sure. When you think of anime, you'd be hard pressed not to think Dragon of Dragon Ball Z. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Rob, this is Chris, and we'll see you here next time.